I have a 2015 Honda Odyssey. It's got a broken sliding door. It's the wire that is part of the mechanism that pulls the door open that is broken. This is the second time that it's broken, so I want to show you how to fix it the correct way. In the past, I just bought one of those $30 kits in order to fix the wire. This time, I'm actually going to use uh, the whole mechanism um, that I bought uh, off a of Honda in order to fix this door. Let me show you which part it is I'm talking about. The part we're looking at here is 72050-TK8-305. And this is for the uh, driver's side door, um, for the driver's side sliding door. So let's check it out, see how we can fix it. Okay, very first step here. We have the automatic doors that open and close the doors. Automatic doors are on. We need to shut those off and that way the doors will not open automatically or close automatically once I put in the new um, actuator. By the way, this Honda part uh, ran about uh, $415. Um, I tried the $30 fix. It worked for about six months and then the, uh, the cable broke. So I wanna fix it right with the whole new part. This is the part number. And this is what we're looking at here. Be careful, um, inspect your packaging. Uh, I had already received one package where these had broken off and I sent it back and I got another one. So this is the, uh, the part that we're needing. Our next step is to get this door open. You might have to wrestle with it depending if the cables are tangled or if they're broken and um, the cables run through back here a little bit. It might be kind of difficult, but you need to wrestle this door open. Let's get it open about four fifths of the way. I already cut the cables for mine, so it opens pretty easy. Next thing we need to do is we need to take out this chair. After we have our door open and our seat out, next thing we got to take this step panel off. Um, it's essentially just kind of putting your hands underneath it, giving it a good jerk, lift it up, and it should pop right out. There you go. We're taking this panel off so that we can get to the stuff over here. We also have some weather stripping that we're going to have to pull off over here. Let me show you. we got to pull back some of this weather stripping. Don't worry, it goes back on pretty easy. Don't pull it all the way off. Just off around these parts right here because we need to get to this panel. All right, we're at the back of our very messy van right now. We actually need to get this panel off right here. In order to do that, we gotta lift these seats up and then uh, we gotta take off some cargo hooks. I'll show you what I mean. So you have two cargo hooks. One cargo hook is right here. Uh, the other one is right here. You're gonna have to turn these, what is it, counterclockwise. If they don't move at first, you wanna use some pliers. I've done this before, so they're not too hard to move. Move it counterclockwise and screw it all the way. Unscrew that all the way. And then you should be able to lift this panel straight off. It's going to take a little muscle, but you can do it. I'm going to want to put these seats back down. Because we need to get into this panel right here. We have another cargo hook right here. We need to take off that way we can get this panel off we also need to pull off this weather stripping at least in this area around this panel got to pull that weather weather stripping off all right now we got to pull this panel off i'm not gonna lie it's not exactly easy and once you do get it separated you'll find that because there are some devices like right over here it's connected to electric, so you can't just pull this thing off and rip it apart. There's some uh, connectors in there that you have to disconnect. So pull this off, move it back like three or four inches, and then move some connectors. I hope to show you those in a second.
try to make sure that this top panel doesn't come with this panel. You want this to stay, this comes out. So remember I said there's some connectors back here, like uh, for this and for that socket over here. So let's take a look right back in here. There we go. There's some connectors like that one and that one. For these, all you're going to have to do is, let's see here, put your thumb on that part right here, push down, and then pull it out. Let's see here, let's try that again. I might have to get a screwdriver to do that for me. Or maybe even some pliers. Here we go. The same for this one right here. And there's one more in the back, it's right here, it's connected. Once you take off these connections, you can just pull this whole panel out. Careful, this one's got a little tab right here, right where my thumb is. You gotta push down on that tab and then pull it off of these plugs. I'm gonna set this somewhere where you're not gonna lose it. All right, this is the part here that we want to get at. Um, you can see I disconnected some of the wires that were connected to the doors. I've been back here before, before I ordered the part. I had already tried six months ago getting new cable, taking the cover off, re-spooling the new cable. Everything worked fine for about six months, then it dies again. Um, that leads me to believe that maybe it's something about this device right here and not the actual cables. The cables held up fine. Um, but everything got unspooled on the inside here. I'm tired of dealing with it. Bought a new part. I'm going to replace the entire new part. And uh, the tricky thing is, those cables are going to run through like this line, all the way out that door over here. And um, they also run through this line outside the door. So um, I think our kit even replaces those. So let's give the all right, next thing we need to do is we need to take off this panel right here. By taking off this panel, we're able to get um, to this mechanism right here, the, the door slider mechanism. So we need to take this off. We've got two Torx pieces right here. I think they're Torx 45, but I've got a Torx 30. A Torx has got kind of like that star shape right here. And uh, it seems to fit all right. So they may be difficult to start. But you get those in there, and you'll take this whole panel off. Now here's a trick. To take this panel off, you actually have to slide it back ways and then pull it out. So it doesn't just pull out on its own. you got to slide it out and then pull it. So, I totally forgot something. In order to take off this panel right here, um, let's see here, there is a screw. Let's see if we can shade the light a little bit. There is a screw. Yeah, there we go. Right up here. And I gotta take that screw off first before I mess with the Torx bits. I should have done that first. There it is. All right, now we can take this panel off now that I got the screw off out front. At this point, you should probably see a wire coming out right here. I had already disconnected my wire right there. And there'll be another one uh, that's coming out this way to meet it. Um, and they actually connect right here. So what we need to do is we need to remove this. We need to get this off. It's not terribly easy to do. You're going to need a jack. I'll show you what to do. So I got the door most of the way open, not all the way open. And I put a jack underneath it lifted up the door just maybe half an inch. That way it takes the weight off of the door. Why do I want the weight off the door? 
because I need to take apart this mechanism right here. So in order to do that, you can see that there's kind of like a, well, let me move the camera a second. All right, I got that little metal ring off. I need to. screwdrivers two screwdrivers to do it it wasn't easy um, and then now I'm going to put a screwdriver oh let's see here right down here on that give it a few whacks on the end of my screwdriver it's gonna take a few tries but uh, this pin should drop down and once you get it dropping down you can kind of pry it with your screwdriver get that out and then your two pieces of door will be separate from each other that's what you want I already got this pin to drop notice it's got some like grippy teeth right here which makes it difficult you just have to work at it a little bit and uh, use your screwdriver to pry down on this and once that thing comes out like I said th these two pieces will separate that's what you want inspect this piece right here typically you'll have your two cable ends that are in this spot right here so everything looks to be in order and I've already replaced this once so I think we're all set I'm gonna re-grease these wheels and um, I'm gonna keep this out because my uh, my new cables need to go in this part right here all right we're back inside the van now what we need to do is we need to take this mechanism out we've got uh, from what I see three bolts one two three and they're 11 millimeter so let's struggle with those oh I'm sorry 10 millimeter let's struggle with those real quick 10 millimeter Okay, I've got this apart. We have, I think, three harnesses down at the bottom that we need to disconnect. So let's disconnect those three harnesses somehow, and then we'll put the new one in. Alright, there's the old one. Um, please note that you might want to keep these little plastic ends that go on the wires. These will slide off. I think you're going to need to keep those little plastic ends that are on the wires. They go to the piece that is outside. Alright, here is our replacement part. Notice it's got a little hangy piece right here, which conveniently just slide it into place right here and hang it but before we do that we're going to want to make sure that um, we uh, hook up all our harnesses again so let's find those harnesses put them back in the right spot and then we'll hang this back in the right place piece of cake those harnesses go together super fast All right, I have not bolted this in yet. I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I got it hanging right here. I have an empty spot where those bolts are going to go. And what I need to do is, here is the wire that's coming out. And it's actually supposed to follow this path. So I need to uninstall this one. Looks like we've got three bolts over here. They might be 10 millimeter, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to unbolt that. And then I am going to bolt 
this one in its place. Notice I don't have new bolts, so I have to reuse those bolts. All right, so I've uninstalled the old one right over there, and the new one should go right in these spots. Notice this new one actually comes with little plastic hangers on it. So I need to remove that plastic hanger and that plastic hanger, and then push that in. Right, we'll see how that goes. Well, these are surprisingly difficult to get out. So you almost need a screwdriver in there to pinch these two things down. So like these spread out once you push them in. So you need to get something in there to pinch them together and then pull it out. So I got one more to do right over here. It took me about five minutes, a little frustrating, but so it was work, we'll figure it out. Okay, to install these things, looks like we just put them in there and push and uh, they should, look at that piece of cake. Put them in there and push. All right. All right, I've got this wire connected. I put these bolts in and I strung the wire out that hole right there. So we should be good to go on that side. Now what we need to do is we need to inspect this side. This one needs to go. This one needs to be put in its place. Okay, now I have that wire set up right there. Some of those bolts are a little goofy to get to, but you can do it. And um, I need to bolt that in place. Got that over there. I think we're just about set. All right, one item of note that I probably should have mentioned earlier. You see how these plastic tabs are out? They need to stay out until um, I have the uh, wires hooked up to the, um, the door on the outside. I believe these are like locks, right? So this way I can pull the wire out and it's not a big deal. Um, but once I put those tabs in, then it kind of locks everything down. And then, um, then there's like a relearn procedure, which I'll show you in just a minute. All right, so we're outside the van. Here is our new wire coming out. And here's our door slider piece. And you see right here how there's kind of like some holes. What you're going to want to do, and this is really hard to show with just one hand, but you take this piece right here and you slide it in from underneath. So slide it in from underneath and then twist it from the side. Let me see if I can set up my tripod to show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, I know the shadows might be playing tricks on you here for a second, but uh, you'll want to get this wire in place. And you see how I'm sliding it in from underneath? Now twist it to the side. You're gonna to wanna to do that with the uh, other wire too. I'm gonna to string the other wire through here, get it attached to that, and then we should be money, I think. Great. Now what we gotta do is we need to slide the door back attach it here like we had before with our little metal clip start putting everything back together I almost forgot we got to put these clips in to lock everything in place so um let's put the door in its home no let's put these in let's give it a whirl okay Come on now. Uh-oh. All right, that one wasn't playing along. Just needed a little bit of motivation. Let's see if we can shut the door now. Okay, I found what you need to do is you need to manually shut the door all the way. Manually shut the door all the way. After the door is manually shut all the way, then you go over here and you hold open the open button until the door is fully open. And then you, once it's fully open, you hold the close button until it's fully closed. Then it's relearned its position. Watch this. This is going to be amazing. You're going to love this. Woo! That is beautiful. All right. We're going to close it now. Look at that. I love it. 
By the way, we just saved ourselves probably $1,100. I got a quote on this before. I think it was $1,300. I paid $400 for the part. Um, but man, oh man, we saved ourselves a lot of money. It wasn't fun. It took us about two and a half, three hours to do this. Um, but saved ourselves a lot of money.